This section will absolutely focus on volume analysis, both for spot markets and the derivative markets. Oof, we have discussed so much and you've covered you know so much to know about charts and trading patterns and candlesticks and indicators and moving averages and RSIs and MACD so much in your TA for that matter or technical analysis but would this be complete if I didn't tell you about volume or volume analysis this section will absolutely focus on volume analysis both for spot markets and the derivative markets and what we what I'm going to start off with is getting you to you know understand the concept of volume in itself then the concept of open interest so that you can understand that and how these are going to be important in in our market so let's start with volume volume is nothing just uh, it's just the sum of the transaction uh, or value uh, you know done at a particular time period so for example we're just talking about volumes of buying in uh, today for bitcoin that's pretty much what the volume means so for example the value that is displayed uh, even at the bottom of the day's candlestick is the total volume of all the transactions that were conducted on that current day so for example if i just again go back to the chart just for a one for one second all you can see here all these below charts that you can see down here is actually the trading volume so you can actually see and say uh, that yesterday's volume was greater than today's volume or you know it can reference them back this is specifically applicable to spot markets because the derivative markets has a special and different advanced concept rather than just volume which is called open interest and if we try to find out a little bit of um, of what open interest is all about so open interest is nothing but the total outstanding derivatives contract that is pending and has not yet been settled so in the previous uh, sections we uh, you know took an example and we understood what derivatives are in general and we saw that derivatives needed to be settled at a future date so all those derivative contracts that have not been settled yet are basically what is open interest so let's take a small example and try to understand it so if you and me both had uh, you know had to enter into uh, we both entered into five transactions uh, till this current date and there were total open transactions which is five out of that we settled three transactions between us there will be still an open interest or open transactions between us that is you know that is now two because five was earlier and three we settled and now it's just two the physically now this physically means that now the total transactions that are conducted but the ones which are still remaining and uh, are not kind of settled uh, as of now this shows how much conviction people have on the current market movement as it tells you that people are willing to hold on to their positions uh, not only do they enter positions but they still want to hold on to them and hence it is more believable and an accurate measure of the sentiment of the general market so let's just try to see this um, on the platform and use coin dcx to understand it better so when let's just go on to the indicators uh, section on the top left and you will see volumes only when you write volume all right so what you want to do here is uh, you you, uh, you can just select volume and you see these uh, you know lower graphs right here uh, that can be studied and understood as to how much the total volume of the market has been for that particular day for example as uh, you know we see the from the recent few candles that the higher that uh, the recent few candles that have had higher volumes for example as we see from the recent few candles uh, they've had higher volumes than most of the candles in the recent past this just shows that the market participants or the what the buyers have more conviction you know uh, buyers have more conviction than usual so buyers have more conviction than sellers where we can find this so not in the not in the just the previous days but let's go back a little all right and once it starts gradually uh, kind of increasing which is right here it's standard and it kept keeps on increasing and you see there's a general trajectory where buyers are pretty comfortable and they are you know so these levels all of this from here let's keep on increasing obviously there was this low turf here but in general they were you know increasing in you know the volumes were increasing in general 
and this is what you need to see while understanding where the market is generally going so if the volume is suddenly has a spike here then you also see that effect in your price trend as well to understand uh, that let's take an example that can point out a particular day's candle when we see that this day's particular candle has a volume of uh, you know 114k where uh, all the candles just before it has a volume uh, wherein just the candle before that has a volume of 62000 this tells us that the conviction or the transaction volume has almost doubled in a single day we also see that the price um, is impacted in a huge manner because of that it is clear that the volumes are essential indicators of the parameter of conviction high volumes of open interest shows that the price movement has strong participation from both the parties specifically from the parties that were profitable in this case the buyers must be profitable as the prices you know have increased and hence it shows that the buyers with increasing volumes have taken more and more positions in the market and are showing their confidence in the prices movement that's what a general increasing trend in volume would be considered as and even in open interest higher the open interest so the understanding of this helps us to identify the change in momentum in the market as you see that the prices are in an increasing trend they are also followed by an increasing volume uh, uh, and the prices that are declining may also have a uh, decrease in volumes it tells you that when the volumes are lower the prices may not be trending so much what this tells us uh, is because the prices are sideways there is lesser and lesser participation and most of people are waiting to get a clear cut direction in the market to enter in to bigger positions all right which you can see right here all right so there's like just low movement in volume and then then they're waiting to basically explode so in general the understanding of all this that we talked about in terms of uh, you know using them in your in your trading styles and using volume based uh, indicators in your trading style i'd also consider to use something which i use personally let me just delete what ever that we did in the, uh, in the in just the volume based analysis i would also consider something known as a vwap which is a great volume based indicator it's a weighted average uh, price of that volume rather than the volume uh, just the you know volume itself so these kind of indicators are also available uh, volume definitely needs to be analyzed so that there is an understanding that can help you identify if there is a change in the momentum in the market as you can see that you know all these trends of of of, of slow buying and gradual increasing definitely shows that there is a confidence in buyers to buy them and even the other the inverse way also gives you a knack of understanding when uh, there is confidence in buyers and when there is confidence in sellers and i think volume definitely uh, factors in to play a very vital role and you should always look at uh, volume if the price is going uh, you know uh, higher and higher without there being an increased volume then there is something wrong and so is the other way around so let's just move on i think we've we've gotten everything we know what the chart looks like we know uh, what cryptocurrencies are we know everything about how to use this chart this chart doesn't really look uh, you know archaic anymore it 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 we can we can understand uh, what what these candlestick means we can use what time frames that we want uh, do we want like a, a time frame of you know five minute one minute we understand what kind of routines as a trader that we would be following if we are considering these different time frames we can also make our charts look uh, however we want to you know have them you want Heikenashi, you want you know just a candlestick which i love to use like i said then you can use indicators we talked about so many indicators based on moving averages rsi MACD, and you can use many other indicators whenever you would like uh, again this is just a recipe for your trading strategy it depends what you want to use uh, there are so many indicators just right here but there's so many more if you go and check them out so so many patterns that can evolve from charts so many indicators that can be used all of this comprising together makes your trading strategy uh, what kind of you know conviction that you have what kind of confidence that you have on taking that trade 
all of this is great we understand all of these technicals we understand previously we talked about the fundamentals we understand all of this i think before closing down the program we'll talk about you know in our upcoming uh, sections very important things about how we can manage this better how we can plan our psychology why most traders fail even after knowing all these indicators even after knowing how to use them for their advantage still they fail just because maybe they don't take a discipline maybe they don't uh you know are not appreciating uh you know using certain principles um, while trading or having a great psychology so we'll talk about the mindset we'll talk about how to manage your trades better so that you don't have a loss even if you make a smaller profit but you're not having a loss that's what we want to make we want to have higher gains and lower you know lesser losses and higher gains that's what we want to do and in the next sections that's what we want to learn so all the information that you you know got from charts and you know using dcx i think you're all set and ready to be trading like a pro but before that we'll cover some topics just a few you know just uh, a couple of more uh, sessions and you will be ready to trade like a pro see you in the next section